96. 97. 98. 99. Whew. 100. Whew. Yeah, I'm doing the uh, Everest challenging pull ups. So I figure I've got half a meter pull up. So I have to do 8,000 and odd meters. So that's 16,000, nearly 17,000 pull ups. So I thought if I can do that in sets of 100, 10 sets a day, that is 1,000 a day, which means that's 16 into the 17th day. So that is going to be my Everest challenge. Anyway, that's just a load of boring stuff. Today I am going to give you a full review on the Fell Raven Abisco Light One tent. This is the Fell Raven Abisco Light One tent. Now it comes in this tiny little uh, sack here, which uh, can compress down a lot more than what it already is. Um, and what it has is, it's got these little straps on the side, and these straps allow you to just slot the poles down the side, pull them in, and there's a little clip here. If you can see, it just allows that to just be one package. But obviously when you put it in your bag, generally you split things up. Like I put these on the outside because they can uh, get wet, so that doesn't really matter. And obviously uh, this goes on the inside to keep it all totally dry. So, let's start off. When you open it up, inside we have some very simple instructions actually printed on, which is good, just in case you're struggling. Um, and obviously you don't lose the bit of paper that it comes with then. I'll just pull it out. It's got a uh, pull point there at that end as well, which is good. Now it comes. So one decent bag. Tent bag. And then the tent itself. Which feels amazing. It's almost like... Um, it's like siliconized, so it just it just feels like a massive condom to be honest. But um, <laughs> and it's to be fair, it's not far off as thin either. Yep, I'm sure that shows well. <laughs> so to pitch, there's obviously one door, and then uh, that door you need to face to uh, the best place possible, pretty much away from the wind every time. I don't know where the door is, there we go. So I'm going to face the door to you. And what I'll do is I'll just peg it out straight away. These pegs, the DAC pegs, and they are really lightweight. I think they're only about 9 or 10 grams each with a little uh, pull out as well, which is good. Um, super strong, I've not had any issues whatsoever, so brilliant pegs. There we go, so once we're pegged down, I'll get on with the poles now. So the poles, we have one red pole, which is the centre one. It's got a couple of uh, sections which is pre-bent, just so it allows a little bit more of extra headspace, um, or squares it up, the actual tent itself, within the centre. And then we have four double poles here, which just all these do is, two sections and they just go in each corner and they fit so beautifully together they're absolutely gorgeous these it is actually a sexy tent I do get excited about these things I know it sounds weird but I know most of you understand that <laughs> so if I start with let me show you it's a lot better so these are tent poles they've got Oh you shit bag, what's going on with that? So from peg, a little pull out, I look for the bottom of the uh, pole, then up this corner, we have got this uh, reinforced section in the corner. Now this brown bit here, um, this is the, for the guy line, now that can pull over that pole, just strengthens everything up as that pulls out. Gives nicer structure to it. 
So I'll go show you the main pole now. So it's very simple, a red pole, it's actually got a red tag there just so So these four corners get them all done. Very quick to do. Well if you've got cold hands I did struggle with one one day but I was uh, in about minus six so I was struggling. So this red one feeds through this uh, centre section and there's a red tag there so it obviously that's the way in with it. Now I've made a mistake, this is that tension bar and that has to go underneath. Pull it out. So you need to just double check that one. So the pole at the end fits into a, a nice little pocket and then what we do is I can just bring that up now and I'll slot it into the pole hole there. Straight away you can see it's just starting to get a little bit of structure. The bottom of the main pole here in the centre, um, if you can see there's actually two holes here and that um, allows you to double pole the actual tent if you need, if you wanted some serious extra strength and you were doing some really really serious four season camping then uh, that would be definitely a good idea to do. Uh, there is also this tensioner here so you can actually pull um, the whole tent down onto the actual um, structure of that actual oh my god actual actual tent pole. So as soon as this is up it just has that little bit of structure but it's absolutely useless until you actually get the guy lines to pull these uh, poles out and if you can see straight away it starts pulling it out into the right position. So I'll just get all these guys on, pull it into position. I always like to cleanly wrap all my ties up when I pack it away ready for the next time. To a dog. Good boy. So to start with I just uh, pull everything out but just roughly do it. This one, it's a little, uh, it's almost like a storm flap here, which just covers this little air vent. So any water runoff will actually come off and miss that. So I have to pull that out as well. Looking good. I've not actually pinned this out yet, but there is a double sort of guy here, um, which is at both of the sides holding the actual pole in position um, and obviously that gives a massive amount of structure if you've got any sort of sideways wind that's pushing on this pole. We have got peg not put in properly, a little piece of a cord which just uh, allows the peg to be pull it tight and then you can actually move it around as well just in case you need to adjust anything. The pole running up to this top section here I should really have Put that over there like that that's it just give it a little bit more strength and the corners they're, they're really really solid these um i can't see there'd be any failure really even in high winds and these poles are just beautiful so on this far side we have the fell raven badge there again we've got a second guy out here on that pole but yeah, it's honestly, I just love the scent. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, if I just go through the door with you. This um, has like a little bit of a, again, a storm flap, which just sort of sits over another mess, mesh section, which um, obviously allows a little bit more ventilation. I'll just open this up. Oh, come on. This one comes with a free dog. Funny that, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh dear. Bluey. Alright man. So you can roll this back and then if you just um, keep folding this in, it's a really really neat system and it's got a little uh, cord here. It's not elasticated but it does have this toggle so you can tighten that up and straight away just with one it actually makes it um, really nice and tight. Gunshot, <laughs> sounded like. The second one here, the 
pop that in. And again, a little toggle. Just tighten that up. But that's just totally neat away. I really, really like that. So covering the zip all the way up this side, you've got this storm flap, which obviously uh, is just uh, protecting from any weather actually getting in through the zip. Once this is uh, tucked away though, it's so neat and tidy. And obviously I've not even guided this out and this, the sort of structure of this is actually really good. I'll just move you inside. What the? So I'll just show you these uh, toggles on this door. There we go, these just slide up and down this piece of cord. Nice neat way of doing it actually, it keeps it really really secure. No chance of that blowing undone or anything really, which is good. The porch area uh, is actually pretty good size here. This is where I generally have the dog to sleep. Blue, come here. I need you to demonstrate something for me. Come on. Come on then, in your bed. Come on. Good boy, lie down, lie down. Good boy. So, in that section there, it's big enough just to, for me to fit my dog. Obviously you can put your bag in it or whatever you'd need. So the inner tent, let's see if we can show you this in here. It sits about between sort of three and five inches off the actual uh, outer fly sheet. And they're just held together with these uh, simple little male and female sockets. Uh, but you don't need to do anything with that all, at all. You just uh, buy it and it comes like that already so if I just unzip I'll show you this uh, inner door now this door is massive because it's uh, a full big C shape zips all the way around and opens all the way up like that so it's actually pretty big I'll show you how that rolls back in a second but it just allows you to access um, right through into this area as well as obviously if you're cooking out here so if I just roll this inner away there's just one toggle for this so what you can do is just fold this in and just make sure that it all goes away really neatly again it's the same sort of system you just uh, put it through the loop and then you can just use that toggle to pull it tight so nice and neat really, I actually really like that. This uh, bottom browner section is um, forms like a bit of a bath. So you've probably got about a two, maybe two and a half inch upstand all the way around, um, which obviously is just a good way of uh, keeping moisture out, especially if it's absolutely persisting it down. And then you can uh, at least know that you've got a, a couple of inches, even if there's running water on the ground, just to keep you dry. This is a 25 inch mat which means that it's bigger than most. And if you can see on that bottom corner there, and I'll pull it back, it's just touching that right hand side. If it was a mummy shaped mat, then obviously you wouldn't have that issue, uh, but I've not had any problems with it. So at each end of the tent, there's this zip, which uh, just allows a little bit of ventilation, but also it's really the access to the um, external ventilation. Now, if I undo this, hopefully you can see this, um, that's the actual air vent outside which uh, in summer you can just have that totally opened up I'd only ever shut it if it was really really bad weather to be honest but it just allows so much more airflow um, obviously to reduce the condensation on the Hilleberg Acto which is a very similar design to the Fellraven Abisko light one tent um, this actual flap here you can only zip down from the outside which if you uh, you know tent bound because of the weather and you need to access it you have to get outside for it I just think that's a rubbish design so this is way better so head height in here I think it's uh, 95 centimeters I'll just pop it there um, but obviously when you sat on a camping mat it just raises you up a couple of centimeters um, I can sit upright in it but I am arched slightly on my back um, but you're not going to get a single tent that's going to um, have plenty of headroom really um, that's this lightweight because it does weigh hardly anything. So the inner door here I'll just unclip this and then what you can do is zip it round and uh, 
you can just have it solid like that now if you need more ventilation the good thing about this one is um, it's got an inner zip so you can go around again and unzip that roll this back and then you can uh, tie this out of the way through winter even though it's been um, pretty chilly um, I've actually slept with this just totally open I've just had the uh, outer door shut and then just uh, had all this open uh, just because the dog's been next to me that's all it's, it's really good that because obviously condensation in tents is a massive thing and it can be such a problem and um, the Acto which is a similar tent to this um, I know that a lot of people have actually complained saying that it's got issues with the condensation um, and to be honest it's one of the reasons why I actually went for this one and the fact I'm just bored of seeing Hillebergs everywhere because everyone seems to have them so if I just go through the pockets uh, this pocket at this end is right by the door so it's actually quite handy because if you're just cooking in this area here um, it just allows you just to pop your, you know, your bits and bats that you might need for that and if we just come back we have a at the top here we've got an air vent piece of mesh there and then this is just another little pocket which I just shove my uh, head torch in just so it's always accessible at the top here we've got this uh, tensioner line which you can actually just adjust um, which will just I think it just helps hold the uh, position of the inner tent to the outer um, but it's a fantastic little spot just to uh, put your your wet socks as just a bit of a drying line and I ha hook my little light on there which just allows the whole tent to have a glow which is a, a brilliant little thing just if we come down to this section we have um, another pocket here which is uh, fairly sort of wide and then just a little one here which is just enough to put your phone in I would have thought um, and that's it for pockets so the space at the end once the uh, mat is um, fully shoved down to one end this is uh, about I don't know maybe 10 inches at that end just a bit of space to put stuff I have put my bag there a couple of times and it's worked okay at the back here um, we've got another space which um, just again it's just enough to shove a bag in um, obviously I need to put my bag inside because I've got my dog with me uh, which I obviously have to consider um, but in the actual porch area there is there's plenty of space here just to put your bag anyway and then it still allows enough in the, this bit just to actually do your cooking so under the uh, storm flap on the outside um, there's this little air vent here so if we just undo that you can just see this is a mesh and then obviously you can just see outside it's actually pretty good in the morning because rather than undoing your tent just have a look and see what the weather's like you can just pop your head out and have a look so that allows obviously as well the water will run off that outside section there and uh, it won't be coming in this has a little roll as well so you can actually roll back and pin that back now that also the main door you can zip it from the bottom it's a two-way zip so you can just totally undo that again if you just want to keep the weather out but um, have a lot more ventilation you can do that quite a long way really just pop that back up again so if I uh, lay down here I've got my feet a few inches off that far end and then um, at this end I've still got a good foot and a half I would say um, I'm only just touching this if I reach out so it would definitely take someone probably up to about six foot five no problem um, but I do guess it is designed in Sweden for Swedish people and they are a slightly taller population than what we are in the UK um, so if a Swede's a Swede what fruit or veg could we be we the UK hmm, let's say we're apples so it fits one Swede and it also can fit one and a half apples I'm one apple blue with dogs half an apple <laughs> it's, it's making sense yeah if I unzip this all the way around 
on the bottom corner of this door there is a little mail section I'll call it and inside here we've got a little loop that that just uh, fits into so if I just put it in on itself through the loop and then you can zip this back down until it's taut and then it just allows this massive space here so you've got total air ventilation if you need it but you've still got enough rain cover for the water to actually run off here um, and so you could cook and ventilate very well um, still inside still out of the weather um, and obviously it keeps it nice and solid another little clever another little clever another little clever <laughs> this bit's pretty clever too so inside here we have a, a little bit of a porch area now what you can do is this because we've got these uh, guy tensioners um, which hold the whole tent square on this one is uh, the actual um, base of the tent is attached to now what you can do is is actually slide that back which gives you a massive amount of uh, space inside um, in the actual porch which if you need to you can cook and do whatever you need um, with that extra space I think that's a very clever idea especially if you're cooking because you don't want to uh, damage your tent so you can keep everything well away from it um, for you know grease splashes or anything like that but look at that look at the actual space difference and if I just bring that back out again for you hold on I'll slide it back out so there we go I have to say though what sometimes is a little bit annoying because of these tensioners here you've got uh, running across the tent making a cross there and there's also one um, across the doorway now you just have to be a little bit careful because I have tripped on them a couple of times if you just look at this bottom section all the way around between each pin out point I've not got this very taut here at all but this is slightly curved so what it allows is um, a little bit of extra ventilation because it always sits like an inch or two off the ground because it's got these uh, guy pull out points which can pull right out at all angles um, there's eight in total it's just brilliant almost like a spider uh, to give a really wide base of support so it will definitely be able to take a hell of a lot of wind this thing which is good well this tent honestly I think is brilliant I would totally recommend buying this definitely a four season strong robust the build quality is fantastic Fall Raven stuff I've always um, had jackets from them and trousers from them and that's generally what you'll see me wearing in my videos it comes in a few colors I think um, I think green's always a nice color to go for uh, this is the sand um, but I think I prefer the sand to be honest and also it comes in UN blue which uh, really, if you want to make a bit of a statement and be out there, I think that's a cool one to get. Yeah, I like this tent so much that um, the next tent I'm going to buy is going to be the Felraven Abisco Light 2. And I'll probably buy it in the UN blue colour because I just think it's pretty cool that. I'm not going to go into uh, the fabrics, but they are just ridiculously strong. You could honestly, uh, you could tow a bus with these, absolutely brilliant. And I totally would trust this in any weather, I really would. It's very uh, condom like, I would say. So, uh, yeah, bit of birth control for you. Although, saying that, I suppose it is a one man tent, uh, not a one man and one woman tent. So, it acts as birth control anyway. So, fantastic, eh? <laughs> so, this uh, stone moon gate, I built this about ooh, five years ago. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I'm well proud of it. And it just leads you through past my uh, shipping container which I sleep in quite often and then what I've done also I've got this round bench and a little fire pit with a view to die for of Yorkshire and there we go sun's just setting and I've got my uh, shipping container which definitely needs cladding I do like the colour green but 
So this is my uh, latest project, a little uh, composting toilet, which I'm making out of. Oh, hold on, climbing over a wall. Um, it's an old postal crate. So all I've done is line it all out. And then just in there, that's where my composting toilet's gonna go. And I've just done it out of uh, some old wriggly tin and I just think it looks cool already, love it. So there we go, that is the Felraven Abisco One Light Tent. If you've got uh, any questions whatsoever, just drop a comment below and then uh, I'll hopefully get back to you as soon as I can about it. So if you like the video, that would be great because it'll definitely help me out. And uh, if you are interested in any wild camping whatsoever, please have check out my other videos. I've got loads of different adventures and different places, giving out nice locations and um, obviously showing all my different kit that I've got and everything that goes along with it. You know the whole score. Anyway, I am going to get myself out of here after doing another 100 pull-ups for my Everest challenge. Two. Three.